you get somebody to do your curves when they are formed in the first 48 in the first 48 hours after being formed they need to be watered Asher and Gab channel, making Africa home again, one family at a time. On site today, Tuesday the 4th of Jan 2022, Happy New Year to you guys, wherever you are watching in the world. So here to give you a, a brief site update for today. Um, as you know, painting is 90% finished. Um, but um, let's hear from Gad to see what her opinion is of the painting before we go outside. So, what's your opinion of the painting so far? <laughs> I love it. It was like a dreamt. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. I love this. I love the color. See, it worked out well, didn't it? Yeah. It's not dark. It's not. I mean, it's not so dark. Mm -hmm. It's not so bright. It's just somewhere there in between. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's lovely. Wow, that's so amazing. I think I think the um the staircase has worked out good as well. Yes. It Especially, in t especially ab the towel area above and below it, that's worked out quite well. Yeah, it has worked out quite well, definitely. You know, that sort of, off, sort of grey undertone, it's, work it's, worked, it's worked out okay. Um, so, but in terms of, let's have a look at, look at that as well. The upstairs is nice as well. But one thing, you know, one thing that the painter did not do well, and I have to bring him back again, when I checked, initially I checked and I didn't see but it was my builder who pointed this out. So let's have, let's have a look at an example. Guys, if you look at the column, look at the top column, nice and smooth, wonderful, beautiful, nice and smooth. So what the painter did there, he scraped off the excess cement, sandpaper, rough and smooth, to get it like, like this. But obviously, again, if you don't check everything in detail, <coughs> human beings always miss something. Look at the bottom one. So basically, yeah. you can see here that the, the painter, yeah, did a quick job here, yeah. hasn't done it properly. Yeah. So I've, I've, I've called him back, he's going to come back, get rid of this, re-sandpaper it, rough and smooth, to get it smooth, just like the top pillar, okay? No extra cost, because he should have done that properly without me having to point it out, okay? Just a minor thing there. Um, what else? Another, another minor thing on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the AC, one of the AC switches. Which is just just that minor thing there, which is which is really when they took off the when they took off the mask intake, they just took off some of the the paint, but not a big deal. All really minor stuff. All in all, he's done he's done he's done he's done a good job, and definitely um, he'll be coming back when we're ready to do these corrections. And obviously, when we're ready to do the um, external painting, we'll, we'll, we'll bring him back. In terms of the external painting, I'm gonna we're gonna get a try and get a software to. Um, Design how we want the front of the building to look like before we choose all our paint colors. Yeah, but he actually needs to come back and paint the balustrades because these haven't been painted yet. These this will be oil paint and it will be black just to make it really stand out. All the balustrades will be painted oil paint black. Okay, burglar proof. We've talked about that already in a previous video. If you haven't watched that video, just click up here somewhere. Uh, and you can watch it for yourself in terms of the burglar proof color and then we'll go from there you know guys my thing is my thing has to do with the finishing of the job yes finishing and that's where they tend to neglect the most exactly and that's what i mean the most important thing i would say for yeah. me because yes. it's um what you see isn't it exactly and yeah you want you want it to be beautiful you want it to be flawless if possible but flawless you've got to do, yeah you've got to do what is what well, I mean, what you need to do, mm -hmm. you know, what you've employed to do, because you promise you give a clean job. By the end of the day, you're not giving a clean job. So what I found out that is they're quick to take the job, they're quick to market themselves that they're the best for the job. By the end of the day, they don't come up with a very, I mean, clean finishing. Mm. And sometimes they tend to hide it. Yes. Unless you've got the eyes to pick up, you know, the flaws. Yes. And then like, you're able to pick one or two. Yes. Things. And it's very important to get them to do the job whilst they're, they're still on site. You don't let them go until they finish Exactly, it. exactly. Because getting them back can be back a difficult. Can be such a big problem. Exactly, exactly, you know what I mean? exactly. So I'm not very impressed with 
most of the finishing finishing they done here to yes. be very honest even yes. though that we kept pointing and picking mm -hmm. we end up very you get 90% of the work, 95%. Yeah. You know, I did a video about 95%. Guys, if you haven't watched it, click up here somewhere. Don't settle for 95%. And just an update I finally got hold of the Tyler. He turned up yesterday, and I'm told he has done the grouting above between the ceiling, between the tiles and the ceiling. So let's go and have a look at the visitor's toilet to see if that has actually been done. Let's have a look. Hey, he's done it. So he actually has done it. So that's been done. Yeah, that's been nice done, though. which is nice. That's nice. So I had to call, call, him, call him a couple of times, but um, he, he's, he's obviously come and done it, so that's good. I'll, I, I nicknamed him Mr. Mr. 95%, but now I, I, can take, I can take that away because he's done it. So guys, you've got to chase hard. That final 5%, you've got to chase hard, especially if they've left side. Why I'm not too worried about a painter is because he needs to come back and paint the balustrades, do the external painting when they're ready paint the burglar proof possibly so i'm not too worried he's definitely going to come back he's already communicated that to me so not all right guys let's go on sorry chris yeah but all in all i tell you they've done a very great job because yes. we actually handpicked these guys yes yeah yes we actually handpicked these guys so they've done a very great job it's just that yes. i'm concerned about the patient but for that they did a fantastic yeah, job, no. and I'm very happy about it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. The color choice is good as, is good as well. Yes. Okay, so let's just go outside and give the guys an update on the, the filling, because again, there's some, there's some corrections that if people are doing the same thing, they need to be aware of. Let's go outside and have a look. Here are the curbs okay here are the curbs they're all done they've been done be before but you know you've always got to check double check things are done properly um fortunately my builder came to site any question when these were removed from the mold yeah those are the molds there those metallic containers when they were removed from the mold did the the, the, the landscaper did he water the curbs because when cement is initially formed when it comes out You've actually got to water the curbs because it makes the cement bond stronger in the first day or, or, or two first i think first 48 hours my builder questioned him and it turns out he didn't do it and i put him on loudspeaker and i was speaking to him said oh it, 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 nothing will happen to it yeah again poor work not very good so my builder then then, then had a go at him just say you forgot don't say you won't do anything because yes they are, they are still strong but not as strong as they're supposed to be so for example when you put the when you put it as a border if a car if a car sort of hits it it would have a greater tendency to break because it wasn't watered properly so guys do keep that in mind if you if you get something to do your curves when they are formed in the first 48 in the first 48 hours after being formed they need to be watered to make the cement as strong as possible but, but they're breaking already see one's uh, broken already oh no that those ones that that, that, that one came out broken okay. that one came out broken yeah Here's another, here's another thing. Let's look, let's look at the compound. Let's look, give us a glance at the compound. So you can see uh, Chris giving you a, a little 360 view. Um, the compound filling and correction leveling is, is 95% done. Okay, just need to do a little bit on the front gate to get it to slope towards the road. Um, and then we'll be ready for compacting. The compactor is the roller or compactor is coming on Wednesday. But here's another thing. Again, thank Yehovah that my builder came around and I asked him of his opinion about the, the filling. And the filling has been good. The level, everything has been good. But the guy doing the landscaping, he was about to order the roller for the next day. And my builder asked him, well, have you watered it? You know, yeah, have you watered it? Well, if you haven't watered it, how can you compact? And exactly, this is just like we did in the foundation. When you're doing the foundation, you fill it with laterite, then you water water. A lot of water to get the soil to really seep in get the soil to really form let it dry then you compact 
So fortunately enough, Jehovah being so good, on that Friday when it was picked up that he hadn't watered, we had significant rainfall. Friday rained so heavily. So we had the natural watering of the compound. So it's really, really, really wet on that Friday. Uh, it's about three, three days ago now, four days ago now. Today is Tuesday. So tomorrow the roller will come and it will compact the entire area. We'll get rid of these curbs, move them somewhere else, correct the leveling here, correct the leveling outside the gate. Put the border curbs here and then and the curbs there and then all the compacting will be done once the compacting is done then we're going to have a temporary landscape okay temporary landscape we're not ready to do the full-blown landscape yet just temporary that would allow us to move in and that will involve okay that will involve some some curbs along here okay and curbs along there to meet the pillar and then what we're going to do we're going to use the quarry dust outside to sprinkle along this area and along along the driveway up to the up to the edge of the of the building just so we don't bring mud into the house when it rains it's nice and dry and so that's what we're going to do for now and we'll, we'll sort out the full-blown landscape at a later date okay are you happy with that god mm -hmm. that's all right yeah 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 bit, bit, bit by bit we'll get there yeah, bit by sure. bit. but uh yeah guys if you don't know what you're doing if you don't if you don't have a quality project manager on your side or you don't know what you're doing then you know some of these artisans will, will try and do 90 percent of the job to save time to save materials whatever and as somebody said you know when they're doing their estimates some of them not all of them they overestimate yeah and if you're not around then guess where the extra goes into the pocket not all of them but some of them so at some point you need to be on the ground as we all know by now if you've been a subscriber to our channel okay just checking my my, my list now to see if i haven't picked up everything that i need to pick up um yes here's another thing L lastly is um checklist even in, in my career i've been doing this for 21 years almost now and uh, you know and even though you're experienced we don't leave everything to memory okay because there are times where you, you forget something so at every stage create a checklist foundation stage have a checklist have i have i laid the footings correctly have i put the earthing system in have i done the columns have i done that have a checklist at every single stage if your builder hasn't got one good to ask them if they have one if they haven't got one and try and create one from for, from, for yourself watch all our videos you know there's about 100 of them, of them now watch over time do your own research create your own checklist for every stage foundation checklist superstructure checklist so you can ask the relevant questions to check if the guys have done everything they are supposed to do and are not cutting corners because they want to make more profit by sacrificing your your project very 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 important all right oh so, so i think um that's it really for this update um thanks for watching as usual please like share subscribe hit that notification button so you're always aware when we upload an educational video for your viewing, viewing pleasure. pleasure so guys from you it's guys see you next time